Once again, uh, early this afternoon, Sergei Volkov will deactivate uh, the newly arrived uh, Soyuz systems. Uh, it uh, will be receiving its power from uh, the International Space Station rather than internal battery power. And at about 3.40 central time this afternoon, Garrett Riesman and So Yun Yi will spend about an hour transferring their custom-made Soyuz seat liners to uh, the correct uh, Soyuz spacecraft. Riesman uh, will put his seat liner into the newly arrived Soyuz. So Yun Yi will uh, transfer her custom-made Soyuz seat liner into the older of the two Soyuz vehicles, the TMA-11, that she will occupy uh, in the right seat for uh, the uh, undocking and landing uh, with Whitson and Malenchenko uh, on Saturday, April 19th, as Whitson and Malenchenko begin the ride back home to complete their half year in orbit. And for what So Yun Yi will be 11 days in space and nine days aboard the International Space Station. Again, you're watching a videotape replay in high definition uh, from the HD equipment on board the International Space Station. Uh, of the approach of the Soyuz TMA-11 that was shot out of one of the windows in the Russian segment of the International Space Station uh, by Peggy Whitson earlier today. The TMA-12, uh, the new Soyuz vehicle uh, that brought Volkov, Kononenko, and So Yun Yi to the International Space Station, firmly attached to the piers docking compartment. Leak checks are underway that will lead to the opening of the hatches between the two vehicles less than two hours from now. Looking at the uh, truss, looks big, and the radiators, too. Yes, around 1720. Huh? Yes, uh, page 89, and it's uh, 17.20. Yeah. Yes, I have the connection. Uh, this one is connected as well.
This is Mission Control Houston with that playback of uh, the high-definition video now complete. Uh, you're looking at a view from an external camera on the International Space Station at the newly arrived Soyuz TMA-12 vehicle. Inside, Sergei Volkov, Flight Engineer Oleg Kononenko, the new Expedition 17 Commander and Flight Engineer, and South Korean spaceflight participant So Yun Yi in the process of conducting leak checks uh, between the docking interface uh, at the uh, forward uh, portion of the orbital module, the top portion of the Soyuz TMA-12, and the docking interface to the pier's docking compartment, which uh, also serves as an airlock for Russian-based spacewalks out of the Russian segment of the International Space Station. The uh, Soyuz docked uh, to the pier's docking compartment at 7.57 a.m. Central Time this morning as uh, the Soyuz and the station passed 212 miles over northern Kazakhstan. A hard mate, uh, hooks and latches engaging one another, uh, formed uh, within the next 10 minutes after that. And since then, uh, the initial leak checks have been performed that will lead to the opening of the hatches between the two vehicles and the greeting of the six crew members at about 10.50 central time this morning, perhaps a bit earlier if the crews are ready to open the hatches a bit earlier. It's all timed out uh, for television coverage uh, with a uh, variety of dignitaries and VIPs uh, prepared to extend uh, their congratulatory greetings to the two crews uh, from the balcony of the Russian Mission Control Center in Karelyov outside Moscow. We will be uh, returning uh, to NASA television uh, for our ISS commentary coverage and live coverage of uh, the opening of the hatches uh, between the two crews and the initiation of nine days of handover operations that will ultimately lead uh, to the departure and homecoming of Peggy Whitson and Yuri Malenchenko along with So Yun Yi as they prepare for their return to Earth on April 19th in the Soyuz TMA-11 spacecraft that is docked to the earthward-facing